focus, freedom, flow. With these three ingredients, we can navigate the digital ages. That's the hypothesis. Let's see. I think we are trained to do this, like the industrial age school system. Hello. The industrial age corporate environment. It's this. The industrial age, even team behaviors, teams that behave like they were a corporate environment, even if they are a startup. But I don't think that this is the reality you are in. I think the reality is this one. <laughs> so it's, it's better to have small, flexible teams at the moment for most tasks, not for every task, but for most tasks, it's about getting small and getting flexible, right? So it's about smaller and smaller and smaller, and you don't know what the answer is. Sometimes you don't even know if the data you have is reliable. So goodbye industrial economy, hello the new economy, which I call the connection economy, because there is no intermediate person anymore. I don't need a marketing agency anymore to talk to six million people. So I can directly connect. I can. But how do I do it? And if you need a little bit of data about what's happening right now and why the internet changes everything, in these 60 seconds, in this very minute, we are sitting here. What's going on? There are at the moment around 156 emails sent. Facebook logins, 0 0.8 millions in this minute. And Snapchat videos that are being watched right now, 7 million. That's not surprising. But if you look at the pattern of growth, there is something interesting going on there. Emails went up 4% in the last two years. 4% more emails sent. And you know that emails are not going to be relevant in the world of tomorrow. You will collaborate in apps like Slack and stuff. You won't need emails anymore. Facebook, 14% before that crisis. In the crisis, they lost a lot. Two days later, everybody went back in. Why? The network effect. If only It only works if your friends are in. So all friends came back. Snapchat, growing for, from half a million to seven million in one year. This is exponential. This is explosive. We could build different hypotheses about that. One hypothesis I wrote in my daily blog is that the business model of Facebook is I connect you with as many people as possible and that this, face, this business model is not really sustainable on the long run because human nature is not about connecting with as much people as possible. You don't want to connect with as many people as possible. Today we are 300 at this conference with how many people would you like to connect? As many as possible or the one you care about? It's the one you care about. So it's the one you know and, and the one you will see and hear their ideas and, and see how they operate. And then maybe you care about that idea and you want to meet this person. Snapchat has a different business model. If you have kids, you <laughs> maybe you know Snapchat. So the business model is I connect you with the people you care about. You can only connect to people you care about. It's not about maximizing connections, but it's about the relevant connections. And I think this is a major differentiator of all the business models in the digital age. Many are going terribly wrong, where they think they have to go big and bigger. I think it's about going small and smaller. What's your minimum viable audience? What is the minimum clients you want to have? What's the minimum revenue you need to have? I think that's a much better thinking to, to craft a strategy for your digital ages. Mm -hmm.